Hello Internet! Today I wanted to take a look at how you can create custom uh, issue templates in GitHub. So this is a way to automatically generate specific files for your issues. So say you have something for a bug or a feature request uh, or some other topic that you want to have a specific template for for uh, your issues that are open on your projects. This gives you a way to do that. Uh, and so we're going to be creating that for my Unity visualizations project right now. Um, so this is probably the most popular repo of the World of Zero channel. Um, and so what we're going to be doing is making it so that when you click new issue, it is no longer going to show you this. It's not going to bring you to this just this empty page. It's actually going to display a list of different templates that you can select. And based off of the templates that you select, you are going to get a different thing. Um, so I have a few notes for this, uh, just because there's some specific YAML uh, and file outlines that need to happen. Uh, I will leave links to how to actually do all of that in the uh, in the description. Uh, but I'm going to be referencing some notes just so that I don't get that wrong. Um, but hopefully this will be relatively straightforward and we can just kind of pull it together and make it so that we get something a little bit nicer. So you have a little bit more of a um, directed journey when you're when you're creating these things. Um, so, in order to do that, we need to jump over here to our Unity Visualizations project. So this is the same repository that we were just looking at, except this is in Visual Studio Code. Uh, so the way this works is we need a .github uh, file. This is a hidden directory in Linux, but not on Windows. Uh, they behave differently. Uh, and we also, in that folder, need to create something called capital issue template. Um, if you're a Windows user, you may not be used to uh, case sensitive things, but I'm pretty sure this is. Uh, so just make sure this is capitalized. There is also a pull request template, but I am less familiar with that. So not super sure. Now there's two things that really go in here. There's a config.yaml file, which sort of defines different characteristics about what can be in these issues. Um, that will define extra things like additional links. So for example, I am going to be linking to the playlist for all of the visual effect uh, videos that I have done. Um, so if you're actually just looking for help with these things, you can actually just get a link back to the videos instead of trying to file an issue. Um, and uh, in some other projects, that might be a useful way to kind of reduce noise or something like that. Uh, in this case, we're just doing this because we can and it hopefully will be helpful to people. Um, that's generally the idea. And in the future, we might add links to say the World of Zero Discord. Um, so if you want to just chat about something, you can do that and get almost immediate feedback rather than open an issue and wait until I see it and respond to it or something. Um, so different ways to do that. So we're going to actually start there. Um, so let me see what that's actually supposed to look like. We inside of this issue template thing, we need just config that YAML. This can also be config .yaml. Um, I said those are the exact same, but one has an A and one doesn't. The files are, do the same thing. One way or the other. Um, that isn't always the case with YAML files. Sometimes they are specific to different endings, but in this case, it shouldn't matter. Uh, and so there's really two things that belong here. Not that. Uh, blank issues enable. And I'm going to say that's true. Um, so what this will allow to happen uh, is if I go to go and file an issue, I can create this by just saying, test issue. But I can just file a test issue and submit it. I didn't describe anything that's going on. I didn't, I didn't leave any additional details. I just created a title and that's it. If we were to disable that, that wouldn't be possible. You would need to provide at least some context about what the issue is about before you submitted the issue. Um, unless that become, it's like a problem in your repository. I, I don't, don't see why that would be something you'd want. Um, but may maybe there's a reason and I'm, uh, or, or maybe you just really won't be able to be very thorough about what they're creating issues for. Either way, uh, it's, it's up to you. It's just a, just a config. So that's what that looks like. Just blank issues enabled. If you're unfamiliar with YAML, YAML is very space defined. Uh, everything is sort of spaces with these colons. Um, it's a derivative of JSON with less boilerplate -y stuff. So there's less curly brackets and things like that. Um, it interprets just random blank things as strings most of the time, which is weird unless things are not strings and then it interprets them as booleans or whatever else it thinks it should do. Um, 
Yaml's can kind of weird. But uh, anyway, that's kind of a, a tangent on this, but it, it it's something you should probably be aware of because it, it can bite you in the, in the back if you aren't paying attention to it. Um, so in this case, true is a Boolean type. It is not a string. Because, yeah, reasons. Um, so the next thing we can do is do contact links. Uh, this is why I had the notes. Uh, one of the reasons. Um, so I said it was space limited. Um, so we're actually going to add a tab here and then create a list. Um, and so this has a name, a URL. Again, space spaces matter here. Um, so this actually is invalid. This is invalid syntax. Um, but if I add a tab, suddenly it works. Um, it's intended to be human readable, but that also means that it can be a little finicky because machines aren't quite able to understand exactly what you're trying to mean. Um, so, and then there's an about. So name, URL, and about. Um, the way this works is you're going to have a name. So example, um, uh, visual effects video playlist. And so we, we, I have a link here to that. That's just the playlist link. We're just going to grab that over here and plug that in. So that is our URL. So this is going to give you an option to open this link when you attempt to create an issue. And then we just need some sort of about, which is just an extra description about what this is supposed to do. Um, view the visual effects examples playlist on YouTube. There we go. Uh, so th this is just a really quick way to kind of create that link and link out to, to videos. Uh, and that is everything. You can do all sorts of fun things with this. If we wanted, we could do that and add an emoji, because why not? Um, so now we have just a visual reference there. Um, if you're not familiar with how to access the emoji menu, uh, that's just on Windows. It's the Windows period key. Uh, and then you can just type whatever you want or find whatever your most common ones is. It also supports um, other types of emoji as well, if that's your thing. Uh, but but that, that's also completely unrelated to any of this. It's just a fun thing. Um, that's probably all we need to do here. Uh, this is a list. So if you want, you can add more of these. This again is not valid because there is the wrong spacing. These need to be on the same line. Um, so you can see Visual Studio Code is helping me out here a little bit by giving me these uh, semi-transparent bars that are kind of showing where the, uh, the tabs are in this file. If they don't align, uh, you're, you're not going to get what you expect to get. Uh, and because it's kind of a loose language, uh, weird things can happen. So you can, you can just create things that you didn't intend. Um, for example, if I remove these, this is valid. It's just not going to do what I want it to do. Um, so things to keep in mind. Uh, there we go. That is our config. So this is going to create, allow us to create blank issues. We can already do that, but we're just saying that's still allowed. We're not disabling it. And then we're also adding a link out to the, to our, uh, video feed. The other thing we can do is create issue templates. Um, so issue templates are different than they're not a YAML file. They are a markdown file. Uh, and so we are going to have a, let's do a video request. <clears throat> so if you want some visual effect added to this repo, this would be how you would do it, let's say. Uh, and so in order to do that, there's a few things that we're going to need. If, if you're familiar with Hugo, the syntax is similar. Um, so we need, hold on, <laughs> more notes. <laughs> um, we need to delimit this using three dashes. And so this is sort of our metadata at the top. Uh, there's not going to be anything that is rendered to the issue here, but it's going to give us more information like we had in the config about what's the name of the issue type, what's it about, um, and are there any additional parameters? For example, should this be automatically assigned to somebody? Should it be tagged with some tag on your repository? You can have this automatically do all of that for you. Um, so if there's like a feature request type, you can have things just automatically tag themselves as feature requests as the person clicks the button. So they don't have to do that or you don't have to do it for them. Um, so this is going to have a name uh, and about a title and labels 
and assignees. Uh, there we go. Uh, so these can be empty. I don't want to. I don't need to label it with anything. Uh, I don't need to assign it to myself. Uh, and I think we can leave title empty too. That should be fine. So, so the title is actually going to be the title of the issue. I should probably talk a little bit more about that. The title is going to be what the issue is titled by default. And then everything below this line is going to be what appears in the issue. Um, so to give you an example, this is our title, this top bit right here. Currently it says test issue. If, if we labeled our title in that markdown file as test issue, it would automatically seed that here. Everything else in the markdown is going to appear in this leave comment bit. Um, so whatever we put there is going to just automatically be inserted here. And so you can just fill in whatever you leave blank or, or whatever. And so you kind of get that template. Uh, and that's sort of how that goes. Everything else over here is filled in by those other fields. So the assignees, the labels, things like that are also available to you. So we go over here. We just want to please describe the uh, effect you would like to see. Examples. <laughs> please provide an example image or video of the effect. Cool. <clears throat> so this is just sort of listing the things that we're sort of expecting. I'm only going to do this once. You can do this as many times as you want. Uh, just add another markdown file and it will create a new option for you. Um, but we don't need to do that. Um, request a new video on a different visual effect. Name. Uh, what is the name of this? Uh, video effect video request. Again, this can all be changed later. There's nothing concrete about this. It doesn't really matter if you need to go back and change it. These are just helpful options to kind of fill out and kind of give you a little bit of a wizard, a walkthrough of what you're trying to do. Um, so in this case, you should see effect video request, uh, request a, a new video, and then you should see all of this start, stuff populate for you. Um, so let's just add a title and we'll just preface everything with request. Uh, ideally, this will probably turn into a label, but it isn't right now. Uh, I don't have a label and I haven't done any of the work for that. So we're just going to use a title for now and I can change it later. Um, so this should be everything that we need. We now have a config and we have a video request. Uh, so we should just be able to commit this. So we're going to do git. That's odd. <laughs> um, we're going to do a git add uh, and we are going to actually just do dot GitHub slash issue templates and just do a star. <clears throat> and that should add these two files to commit. Um, there's uh, other working files in here, so that's why I'm doing this more specifically. Uh, and it seemed easier than doing this. You can see that they're now staged in here. Um, so we can just say add issue templates to visual effects. Cool. And so that checks it in. That's a local change, though, so it's only on my machine right now. Uh, in order to do this, I need to actually push it up. Uh, and since I, I'm not working on a fork or anything like that, so if, when I push this, it's actually going to go live on the master branch because I didn't make a branch because reasons. <laughs> but, but yeah, so now that's completed. And so it should be out on GitHub. So if I go up to this code here, we should now see GitHub issue template has been added 31 seconds ago, and we now have both of our files up there. If I go to issues now and click new issue, we'll see these two options. Previously, we got brought immediately to the uh, new issue prompt. Um, so we got, had to enter everything manually. Now we have these two things. If I click this, now I get a playlist. Now I get the, the YouTube playlist. Uh, if I go back to the new issue and click get started, now I get test issue with all of this other information. Um, so that's sort of a, a really quick overview and example of how to actually add this to your repository. Um, hopefully it makes it a little bit easier for people to kind of engage with your project and be able to actually report bugs or request features or ask questions, or in this case, 
uh, request a, a new video. Um, so that is sort of how all of this works. Um, hopefully something you can use, but that's pretty much it for this video. So I guess until next time, see you internet.